Okay, here's today's joke of the day. Where can you buy a ruler that is three feet long? At a yard sale. This will give us the notes for 1B, solving equations with square roots. Sometimes they call them quadratic equations. Um, let's just review real quick up here in our little review box. Um, from 1A, we talked about what are some of the perfect squares. And when I have that, that is my final answer. So as you can see, the square root of 16 is 4. And a very common error that lots of students have is they think that's the square root of 4, because 4 needs to have a square root over it. It does not. The square root of 16 is just a plain old 4. Square root of 18 breaks down into 9 and 2. We had that one several times in our last lesson. So that would simplify to 3 square root of 2. The square root of x squared is going to be um, x. Square root of 5 squared, if I wrote that out, a square root times itself is just going to be that number. You notice I don't have any square root over that 5 anymore for my answer. And on this last one, if I would write it out, using that exponent of 2, and this is where we learned our multiplication. Number times number, square root times square root. So I have 9 times 5, 45, final answer. So right here, we had this um, square root of x squared, and the result of that was just a plain old x. When we solve equations, usually when we want to solve for the variable or solve for x. So when I come down here to solve these equations with x squared in it, I don't want x squared. I want x. So to get from x squared to x, I need to square root over the x squared. So I'm going to square root this side. And because it's equations, I have to do exactly the same thing to the right side. That's the same way you learned how to solve equations. What you do to one side, you got to do to the other. So this results in just a plain old x. What you get over here, you have to simplify. Well, square root of 25 is perfect. So the answer or solution for this would be x equals 5. I have an x squared. I want just an x, so I'm going to square root. If I square root this side, I have to square root this side. Now, 27 can be broken into 9 times 3. which simplifies to 3 square root 3. We need to get the x squared or the variable by itself. So I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. So x squared is what's left over here, equals 10. Square root both sides, that will give me x equals square root of 10. 10 is um, a number that cannot be simplified, so we just leave it square root of 10. This one, because we have a variable, in, or excuse me, a number in front of the x squared, this is the term we want to get by itself. So I'm going to add 50 to both sides, get that rid of that. So 2x squared equals 50. I want to get the x squared by itself, so I'm going to divide by 2. I'm going to go over here now. x squared equals 25. 50 divided by 2. Now at this point, I have x squared. To get just down to x, I'm going to square root both sides, and the square root of 25 is 5. Now some of those steps as you go through, you'll be able to do in your head. Right now, just for the notes, we're writing everything down. Okay, when I have an equation that has a number with some exponents, order of operations says I have to do those exponents first. So this is going to be 3 squared, which is 9. 4 squared is 16. That's going to equal x squared. Add these two together. Doesn't matter if x is on this side or the other side. I'm going to square root, so I just get x. Square root of 25 is 5, so x equals 5. Squares first. Subtract 16 to get the x squared by itself. Square root to get just plain x, 
Square root of 20 can be simplified into 4 times 5. 4 is the perfect one. So x is going to equal 2 square root 5. These last ones, are they're all done the same way. You just have to take your time with each of these. So this one says 2 square root of 5 squared. So I'm just going to come down here, save us some room up there. 2 square root of 5 times 2 square root of 5. And that's what that means right there. So that's 4 because number times number, square root times square root, square root of 5 times itself is going to be just that number. So 4 times 5 then is 20. This right here simplifies to 20. Finish writing the rest of the equation. To get x squared by itself, I'm going to subtract 20. Square root, x equals 1. Last one, let's do this square first. Square root of 13 times square root of 13 is plain old 13. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. I want x, so I square root. Square root of 16 is 4.